What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and I think it's time for us to do a Pokemon opening. And what is it that you guys want to see? I'm guessing Hidden Fates. <laughs> I'm assuming we're all good with that, but uh, I kind of mentioned yesterday in a video that I did get like a case, and I was hoping to kind of keep that sealed, so I think feel like we're going to have to start rationing the boxes that we have left. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're going to do two more. Two more pin collection boxes. Although I am running low, so I'm not sure how much longer I can do two at a time but uh, so it might slow down in the near future but we're gonna keep up with two but actually first we're gonna start off with a mail day and I kind of hinted that at this a couple times where the world championships that happened in DC they kind of had some cool plushes and so we got boom the Piplup oh this is so cute it's got the same hat as Pikachu and I, don't, I like the hat, it's like a little smaller, but I feel like it fits uh, Piplup's head better than the Pikachu one. And he has this cute little water bottle, I love it. Um, this Piplup reminds me of, kind of like when I first came out into the Boston area, uh, me and my girlfriend went to the Boston Aquarium, and they kind of had like, oh there's this cool penguin um, exhibit and then we went to go see it and then there was a sign that said the penguins are on vacation <laughs> so I was like what what do you mean they're on vacation we came to see them uh, so we weren't able to see them but either way I don't remember why uh, we started liking penguins all of a sudden so I'm really happy that we picked up I was able to pick up this uh, Piplup he was just super cute so uh, you'll probably see him floating around in the background in videos going forward so all right we got two more pink collection boxes six more tries to find that uh, shiny Zard. I'm just gonna quickly skip to op skip through the actual open box opening. All right just got the boxes open six more packs and I think in between boxes we'll go through just some poll data that uh, one of our subs was shared with us. All right let's get into our first pack we got a Mewtwo pack art. Wouldn't mind pulling this very cool green looking psychic Pokemon. Our pulls have been improving, which is awesome. Had some sick pulls yesterday. Be sure to go check that out if you haven't seen it. I think we had our most busted pack yet. <clears throat> Additionally, uh, it is Tuesday, so tonight will be when the giveaway for one of these pin collections does close. So, if you've yet to enter, make sure you do so by the end of today. Oh, nice! <laughs> I didn't even realize we were going through all the cards. So, we got the full art birds. Man, I love this art. To be honest, I like looking at this more than the rainbow one. Although, I want one of the rainbow ones, for sure. <laughs> so, there we go. This is the second time we pulled this. And we have a reverse Arbok. I think that's a, a new printing. All right, very solid pull right there. We have all the birds card minus the rainbow one. <clears throat> Another very solid start to one of these pin collection boxes. Our good streak continues. All right, fighting energy. Brock's gym. Giovanni's exile. Koga's trap. Geodude. Jigglypuff. Star you, Ekans, Eevee. I can never tell how many cards are left before we get to the. Ooh, I do like this Eevee. Um, there's like all these Pokeballs, a couple Pokemon in the background, and then we. Oh, so for for our um, plush mail day, there's one left that we haven't got. Is the Eevee one? I'm kind of holding off on getting it. In fact, I tried to pick up like all three, uh, but wasn't able to win that auction. Um, I, I feel like the Eevee one I'm not crazy about, but if it comes at a good price, I'll probably pick it up. Alright, sorry. Back to our cards. Let's see. Boom! Oh, nice! Shiny Poiple! Very nice pull right there. I'm not sure. I can't remember where's... Ooh, they have like the... I think it's really cool that they have the original sim... Oh, that's because this indicates uh, what set it's from for as far as how... Um, whether it's still in rotation or not. I can't remember which Poiple is the one that people use to evolve to Naganadal, but that this uh, he looks super alien. <laughs> I do like the color scheme though. That's a very unique one and really stands out. So 
Really happy with that pull. Man, this is such a good box. We started off so poorly. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how we do on this last pack, but then I want to go through some um, pull data. All right, for our last pack of our first box, we got Giovanni's Exile, Brock's Grit, Koga's Trap, Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clee Fairy, ooh, Starmie GX, very nice. I feel like all these GXs, I want to pull them, pull one, and then that's it. <laughs> While they're cool, uh, the fact that they're, I don't know, I don't feel like any of them are that strong, but let's see, Starstream for 40, for only one en energy, attach two water energy cards from your discard pile to one of your, oh man. You know how like there's uh, Blacephalon and then Reshiram Zekram? Zekram? If there's something where you discard energies from your Pokemon, let's see, Blastoise I believe discards it from himself. Uh, so, but if there's one that you can discard from any Pokemon, maybe this thing could be useful. The spinning attack, uh, I guess you could trip a, slap a triple acceleration energy, but for only 100 damage, I don't think that's worth it, especially when it'll be discarded. Hydro Pump GX, 40 plus 40 more damage for the amount of water energy. Eh, I don't think that's that great. And then a Cubone Reverse. Grab a sleeve for Starmie, sorry. While I say I only want one of you, that's <laughs> you still deserve a sleeve, so there you go. And uh, actually, we're, let's go over some poll data real quick. Okay, so uh, someone did leave a comment and they did connect uh, connect with me on Instagram, so uh, Louis, Louis? Depriter. Sorry if I. Well, no, I know I butchered that, so apologies for that. But they did send me a message about some uh, pull rates. So after compiling from many sources, and uh, yeah, when Dariums opens packs by the thousand, that's a good amount of data to go with. Pull ratios: uh, one per one out of every ten packs should yield, or one out of ten packs should yield like a shiny GX. 100 out of 100 you get a gold stadium so we did get one of those which is awesome we got the mount coronet and then one out of 100 gets the gold card i didn't realize it was so rare so now i'm super stoked about our tapu bulu and then one out of four and a half packs is a shiny pokemon and then one at six and a half is regular gx and then one out of 30 is and that includes the full art uh birds and then one out of 30 is a full art trainer so i'm Super stoked about the pulls we've had so far. We got two of the uh, one out of hundred packs and two of the um, full art trainers. So those those are both one out of thirty. <laughs> then I think my the most interesting thing is that we've yet to pull a shiny GX, but I'm maintaining that. That's just because we're just saving it for the one that counts. And we'll see if we're gonna get it. Let's just see if there's anything else in here. On average, you get about 43 ultra rares per 100 packs. Uh, it's one per every two and a half packs. Yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of variance just because of this way this package. So thanks for all the information. Um, Lewis, again, apologies for me butchering your name. But uh, all right, let's get back to our opening. We got three more tries at that shiny Zard. Okay, so three more shots. And in case you missed yesterday's videos, while well, I definitely encourage you to check it out where we did one, um, we had some really good polls, and then another video about the premium collection boxes that are coming. Another thing we discussed is the if you're struggling to find product and there's a GameStop nearby, just go in there and ask about pre-order. I didn't know that you could pre-order cards until one of them happened to mention it because we were talking about how hard it was to find this product. But uh, I feel like that's a great way, you know, if you've gone to GameStop and they just said they're sold out, this is the easiest way to work around that. So you don't have to, it's not a race. It might be a race to get the tins that you want. I'm not sure how convenient or how nice they'll be about keeping the good ones off to the side for you. All right, let's see, we got a Lapras. That's uh, an okay bowl and a Chansey. Someone that, like said they like this Chansey, that was very calming. I'm glad you mentioned that. I totally agree. I think the fact that it's like, oh, it's Chansey, it's not the one I want, made me disregard the Chansey, but that is a very nice art. But yeah, go to go to GameStop and put a pre-order down just to reserve your things, just so you can make sure you get some product. 
the set is obviously super hyped. And same thing, they like they usually sell like ETBs. Um, I feel like they usually sell the pre the premium boxes too. Although, if you want a premium box, in my opinion, the the best store. Yeah, it, it's like three months ahead of time, but if you pay for it now, uh, Game Nerds, I'm not sure if they're sold out yet, but you can get it for like $75, which is like 25% off. So, in my opinion, that's the only way that it's really worth it, but that's just my own thoughts. All right, let's see. We've got two packs left. We didn't get anything. Ooh, Wigglytuff GX. Do we have this one yet? I don't think so. We got Onyx. We just pulled Starmie. All right. This one is like, you can tell the, the art styles are just really different and I feel like this one really exemplifies that. Let's see what we got. Wigglytuff, 210 HP as it is stage 1 from Jigglypuff. Rolling Rush, 100 plus, flip of a coin until you get Tails. It's 30 more damage. Those are always interesting. Lovely Star GX, heal all, all damage from this Pokemon. Hmm. Feels pretty weak on all, on all fronts. <laughs> Koga's Trap for our reverse. All right, another GX in the bag. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for showing up. I'm good, I'm good on them now. <laughs> All right, last pack, last try. I'm, I've lost count of how many boxes we've opened, but data suggests that you should get a shiny GX once every 10 packs. I disagree. <laughs> Well, no, I believe it. I just disagree based on my own uh, pulls. Although I'm happy I didn't have to open 100 packs to find that Tapu Bulu. <laughs> Misty Gym. So I guess you can't, it's like, you can't, comp I shouldn't complain. That's what I was looking for. Cubone. Jigglypuff. Eevee. I'm not sure how many cards left. Boom. Bills Analysis. Are you the rare? Oh, you are the rare. Why did you become a rare? All right, Bill's analysis, but can we get a good shiny? Boom! Oh, nice type null. All right, things, we're starting to repeat ourselves, which is obviously not great. I'd prefer to complete the collection. Type null is an interesting one. He's kind of like a chimera kind of thing. I don't really know what the backstory is, uh, but I imagine that fact that there's all these different kind of, you know, like the fin and it's like a Chimera, kind of, I'm not sure how else to put it, but kind of like has something to do with how it can do like the different memory things and have all these different types. So, um, still no shiny GX. <laughs> what is this 1 to 10 ratio? But we did get a lot of hits. Let's go through them very quickly. We got that Wigglytuff. It's kind of cute. Starmie, a classic Pokemon. Anytime there's Misty involved, there's always Staryu and Starmie. Type Null, cool Pokemon, although I think we already have one of these. Poiple, I am happy to have this one. Uh, I feel like this, I can't remember what symbol that is, but if this is still in rotation, I can see this actually being used, which is really cool. And then our full art birds, love it. You know, yeah, I'm gonna keep saying it, like the rainbow rare might be worth more, but if I had to display something, it would be this one. This one just looks much more pleasant, you can actually see what's going on there so really happy with that poll and uh yes thanks for watching guys again giveaway closes tonight so make sure you do enter all you have to do is be a subscriber like the video that will appear soon and leave a comment with hashtag turtle giveaway and you're entered i'll announce the winner wednesday morning stay tuned for that video on that guys thanks for watching thanks for all the support the channel's been receiving lately uh some of the comments coming in are just you know they they really make this uh, having running this channel, you know, worth it and a real blast to create this content for you guys. So thank you very much for all the support. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.